Today we are making crock pot beef brisket and it may just be one of the easiest things you ever make in your crock pot. It's easy, delicious, picky eater proof and the entire family is gonna love it. Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and today we are making what just might be the easiest dinner ever and it only has four ingredients. This recipe was shared with me years ago by a friend and it has been a family favorite of ours ever since. You're going to be able to find the recipe for this crock pot beef brisket in the description down below. Now let's get started. Beef brisket is one of my favorite cuts of meat to cook in a slow cooker. By nature, it's a tougher cut of meat. It's found in the lower chest area of the cow and there's a lot of connective tissue there. So cooking a brisket in a crock pot low and slow is a perfect way to get a nice tender piece of meat. Now in the grocery store, you usually find two different cuts of brisket. There'll be a point cut and a flat cut. Now the flat cut is a little bit more rectangular shaped, more square, and that's what we're gonna use today. And the reason I like this cut of meat is because on one side, whoop, you're gonna find a cap of fat. Do not cut this off. This helps to keep the meat nice and moist and tender while it's cooking and it gives it flavor. And after you cook the brisket, if you find that there's too much fat, then you can trim it off. To brown or not to brown, that is the question. <laughs> a lot of people ask me this when it comes to putting meat in the slow cooker, should I brown it or sear it first? And to be honest, I do it both ways. If you want to get, put a little oil in a pan, heat it up and then sear or brown the meat on both sides for a couple minutes. That does kind of help to seal in and enhance the beef uh, flavor of the meat. But a lot of times I'm in a hurry, I'll just pop it in the slow cooker and not even worry about it. And to be perfectly honest, I don't see that big of a difference. Today, we're in a bit of a hurry, so we're just gonna put it right into the slow cooker. I'm gonna put it into the slow cooker with the fat cap up, so all that fat can kinda melt and cook into the meat. Now for our other ingredients. If you remember, we've only got four ingredients. That Brisket is number one. Number two is dry Lipton soup mix. And we're gonna use it just right out of the packet and just sprinkle it over the top of the meat. All right, then our third ingredient, mustard. Now here you can get creative. You can use whatever kind of mustard you happen to have in your refrigerator. I've got a coarse ground Dijon mustard that I think I'm gonna to use today, but you could always just use plain old yellow mustard too. We're just gonna take the mustard and squirt it over the top. Be nice and generous with it. All right, then for our fourth ingredient, which maybe really isn't even an ingredient, but it's water, okay? We're gonna use a cup of water and pour that in. Now don't pour it over the top of the meat because you don't wanna wash off the seasoning in the mustard. We're just gonna pour it in on around the sides of the meat. And then all we have to do is put the lid on. And we're gonna cook it on low for six to eight hours. My brisket is a little on the smaller side. It was only probably around three pounds. So mine will probably cook maybe only for about six hours. We wanna cook it until when you actually lift the brisket up that it will bend, okay? Cause you want it to be able to shred or slice really, really easily. So it'll start to pull apart and the meat will actually bend when you lift it up. That's how you know that it's done. So our brisket is done. And we can tell it's done, like I said, because it's nice and tender, it's starting to fall apart. So we're just gonna remove it from the slow cooker. Now I like to serve this a couple different ways. Sometimes I just slice it up and serve it just like it is. There's plenty of flavor in it, thanks to the seasoning and the mustard you can serve it just like that and sometimes if i have enough for two days i'll serve it like that the first day then the second day i'll add some barbecue sauce serve it on a bun like a pole a pulled beef barbecue beef sandwich or however you want you can get creative you could shred it up and put it in some tacos a burrito whatever you like but it is so good and it is so easy you just need to then just kind of let it depending on how you um want to eat it you can slice it you can shred it, whatever you want. But it smells delish, and it is just tender as can be. And now for the taste test. It's tender, it's juicy, it's delicious, and so easy. 
Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for this crock pot beef brisket in the description down below. And be sure to click over here for some other fun and delicious recipes here on YouTube. And I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell that's down below so that you'll be notified every time a new video drops here on YouTube.